What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be the Queer Lit Weekend reading vlog. This is my favorite readathon, Queer Lit readathon, where you just read Queer Lit. And it's been, like, I haven't really read a lot of Queer Lit this year, um, just because I've been reading books for school that are not queer. So I'm just excited. I have the weekend to read and I'm gonna show you my TBR and get started with the reading vlog just because I am so excited. This round, there's no challenges. The main challenge is just to read Queer Lit. So I have some priorities and some that I might get to. The first priority book is Hurricane Child by Kaysen Callender. Kaysen is on my 20 authors to read in 2020 list and I'm just feeling a middle grade. Um, also, their other book comes out this year. It's called Feel Except For After comes out in May, I think, um, and I'm just excited for it. So I decided I would read their backlist first, and I've heard a lot of good things about this, so I'm very excited, and I just love middle grade. Give me all the middle grade. Another middle grade that is like number one priority, like the whole point of me doing this readathon basically is to read Rick by Alex Gino. This comes out on April 1st, so I decided to keep it for this readathon so I can read it, and me and Becca are going to buddy read it, and I'm so excited. This is about Rick, who is possibly asexual, um, and it does have Melissa from the George universe, and I am just so, so excited to read this, um, and I'm just really excited to read it. That's all. I'm very excited. I also have the audiobook of Brave Face by Sean David Hutchinson. It is a memoir and I have it on Libby or Overdrive and I've been meaning to read it. I was gonna read it for audiobookathon but that just didn't happen. Um, my reading has been very bad lately just because school is horrible and I just want to drop out. I hate it so much. So since I didn't get to that book for the audiobookathon, I already had it on my TBR for Queer Lit. So that's what we're doing this weekend. And I've also almost completed my March TBR. So the last book I have is What If It's Us by Becky Avertali and Adam Silvera, which I also might listen to on audio. We'll see what happens. Um, yeah. That's my TBR. So here's the plan right now is that I want to finish a book that isn't on my TBR and isn't queer. Um, this is Time Between Us by Tamara Ireland Stone, which I picked for Beer Pong Picks, my TBR, my March TBR. So I really wanna finish that book today and then get into my TBR. So once I start reading one of the books on my TBR, I will come back and update you. Goodbye. What's up guys, it's Sunday and I completed my first book, Hurricane Child by Kaysen Callender. I have some thoughts on it um, and I'll talk about that in a minute. Not reading my TBR yesterday really put me behind. So today's goal is to get to three books. It's currently 2.30, so I don't know what's going to happen, but I would like to get to three books today. I'm going to buddy read Rick with Becca and then I would like to get to Brave Face, the audiobook. I don't know how long it is, but I feel like I can just end out the day with an audiobook. And that's what I would like to do today. If not, it's fine. Honestly, the fact that I'm getting to read is a treat because I haven't been able to. So yeah, let's talk about Hurricane Child. So let's talk about Hurricane Child. This is an art copy and it came out in 2018, so it's two years old. I don't know what the final copy is like, but I'm hoping that the final copy has changed some of the things that I had problems with. But going on Goodreads, I saw that overall, some people just gave it the same rating as I'm going to give it. So I'm giving it a 3.75 rating um, just because I'm on the fence. Like, I'm right in the middle of a three and a four star. As I was reading, I really wasn't getting anything that was making me want to finish it. My only incentive to finish was for this readathon. Um, if not, I feel like I just would have put it down and been like, whatever. But 
I feel like it's just such a hard read and I've read a lot of middle grade lately and I kind of felt like it was like the same thing. Um, I've just read a lot of middle grade where the parents suck. Um, in this instance, um, our main character, Caroline, she's going through a whole lot. It talks more about like a kid with depression. It really shows when the parents don't communicate with the kid that the kid ends up having different thoughts and going down a really bad road. And so Caroline is just having a really rough time. This is set in St. Thomas and that was a really interesting setting. Kaysen is actually from there. So I thought that that was a pretty cool element. Caroline is bullied a lot of school. Like just the first chapter, the kids are throwing rocks at her and that just stabbed me. I was like, what is going on? Um what like okay um basically there's just a lot of like really harsh bullying going on like it's not even like a verbal bullying it's like the kids saying like haha your mom ran away and like saying like you're gonna be like her and i was just like okay <laughs> just the it's like a really it's just a really hard read um and basically my biggest problem was that the parents were just horrible and i feel like they were like, oh, well, like, here's the resolution. You have to kind of deal with it and like move on from that. So basically my biggest problem was that the adult figures were so bad. Like I just wish we just would have had one good adult figure that helped Caroline through her hardships. Like she was going through so much. Um, she has a crush on a new girl at school and I loved that so much, but she is faced with so much homophobia and like internalized homophobia where she goes to a Catholic school and the kids are telling her that she's a sinner. And I feel like I understand why Caroline was in such a bad place and no one was like there to help her and it was just so sad. Um, but basically the whole gist is that Caroline, her mom ran away and she's like trying to find out where her mom is. But there's so many like underlying issues where like the parents just don't communicate with the child and I just hated that so much because I just wish that Caroline would have gotten like one sympathetic moment like she just gets nothing. Um, specifically her mom's friend who works at the school says to her it's so easy to be self-involved when you're young when she's like saying that her mom ran away and then finds out why her mom ran away and it just really deals with mental health and I really enjoyed that. I really liked the mental health issues. I feel like we don't get a lot of mental health talked about in middle grades so I really enjoyed that. I appreciated it. I tabbed a lot of it because I just really enjoyed the writing and I really liked some of the quotes. I'm excited to read more Kaysen's work. This one just fell flat for me. This is their debut novel, so I'm excited to read more and see how it has evolved, especially reading their YA because I know middle grade, it's really hard to compact everything that you want. But Overall, I would I would recommend it as a queer book because it has a queer person of color, its own voices, everything that you want, especially if you want a dark heart hitting contemporary. I liked it for that. There was just a lot of problems with the parents. And so now getting to a happier book, hopefully, is Rick. I'm so excited to read this. I'm going to write my review for this and then dive into Rick and I will see you guys later. Update time. I thought I would update about Rick. I'm almost finished. I'm 120 pages in. There's like 226 pages, I think. And every time I read an Alex Gino book, it just makes me cry happy tears. Every time I pick this up, I just want to cry because it just is making me so happy. It's really emphasizing on asexuality and basically our main character, Rick. He has started middle school and he is going through a lot of things. His best friend, Jeff, is a jerk. He reminds me so much of Sid from Toy Story. He's just like the type of kid that plays video games and he's just a jackass, basically. Um, he is homophobic and he just is such an ass. Um, 
And Rick has joined a club at school. It's kind of like a gay straight alliance. It's called Rainbow Spectrum. And I just wish I went to this middle school. We're seeing a lot of Melissa who is from the book George and I'm just really enjoying this. Like it's just so good. I'm so happy that I got the opportunity to read it and I don't want it to be over, but I'm really enjoying it. I hope everyone picks it up. It's really talking about asexuality. Rick is really confused about his sexuality. He just hasn't had a crush on anyone. His friends talk about girls being hot. He's getting a lot of questions from his family members asking if he has a crush on a girl or a boy yet. And it's just really overwhelming for him. And I'm just really enjoying this. I don't know much about asexuality, like I know the gist of it, but this is just so important for any kid. And I wish I had this in middle school, honestly. Um, I just love this, it's so good, and I'm going to finish it and then I will come back and wrap it up. I'm really enjoying it. I honestly hope everyone goes to pick it up. I will have the pre-order link down below. Um, support your local bookstores at this time. And please read this book. It's 8.26 and I finished Rick and it's five stars. It was so good and my only complaint is that I am upset that it's over. Like, it was just so good. It was just so good. Um, that's really all I have to say. I feel like I've kind of already said what it's about, but I don't have any complaints. But I did see that on this arc it says that it comes out April 21st and on Goodreads it says 21st so I guess that it just got postponed because I know in like January it was the 1st so now it's the 21st. I'm gonna have a lot of videos coming where I talk about it but I love this. It was so good. Um, yeah, that's it. It was so good. I really loved it. Um, it was just... It was just so good. I don't have like any more thoughts besides it was so good. Please go pick it up. And it's 826. I'm going to see if I can get in the audiobook because I kind of have some chores to do, but I'll wrap up at the end if I do end up getting to that. In the meantime, I'll see you guys in the next clip. And instead of listening to my audiobook, I decided to watch YouTube for the whole night and never finished my audiobook or even started it. So that was my reading vlog for the Queer Lit Weekend. If you guys enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and you're probably gonna see more reading vlogs from me. Um, I hope you're all having a great time and if not, I hope it gets better. I hope you're all having a great day and I will see you next time.